Now it's time to set up my document in Dreamweaver and um, eventually validate it, upload and validate it. So let me go File, New. I'm going to create a new HTML document, the layout obviously none, doc type 4.01 strict, create new. And here we have all that good stuff that we'd hate to have to add ourselves. Um, let me go back to my bare bones code. Um, ultimately, all I'm going to add is the HTML, since this is the new HTML document. I don't want to have my uh, CSS embedded over here, so it's important that I have no CSS styles. And I just copy everything within the body tags. Um, paying attention not to copy the body tags themselves because Dreamweaver already has that for us. So here we go. Paste that in there. I will save it right to the root site root of my folder. I'll name it the infamous index.html, which means my main page. Very cool. Now when I look at it, it doesn't have my image. So I need to bring my image in. Um, this is looking now right here my image tag isn't going to work anymore because if you look at it where's it looking for my image was well, looking at it for in the same folder where um, this file is and that image is not there the BG image so um, I let's see uh, I move some stuff around so when I go to manage sites I just want to double check where my images folder is because I'm just gonna um, get this to uh, I'm gonna put it in there myself let's see default images folder okay so it's just a folder called images um, then I will do just that I'm gonna put this guy in a folder called images I'm kinda manually doing this instead of relying on Dreamweaver and I'm gonna pop bg.jpg in there now still this link isn't going to jive right because this is looking for BG image in the same folder as uh, the HTML file is so I need to put images forward slash BG and let's see voila and now it works so let's give this bad boy a preview and of course it, well, it works but uh, guess what we don't have? We don't have a um, uh, we don't have the CSS styling that's going to tell it how to how it should act. So uh, let's go to my CSS palette over here. Oh, I guess I could attach a style sheet. Yeah, let me do that in a second. First, I'll go and create a new CSS document. Create nice little code it created automatically for me now let me find my HTML document again that has that code so now I wanna bring in all of my CSS now remember I don't this this style is not a CSS uh, it's not CSS code that's HTML code so I need to grab everything inside of that those style types over there or those style tags and I'll hit copy and then I just paste it on in there I could save it and let's see where will I save this I'm gonna save it in the same location that my um, that my index that HTML is in so screen.css and now what I have to do is attach index to or attach that style sheet to index.html or the other way around uh, have HTML or have the index that HTML attached to the style sheet so I can do that through the CSS panel over here and we'll do uh, we'll browse for that file and we just find it right in the site root screen.css there you go and uh, fortunately we have this media type we could uh, set to it and it's important to set the appropriate media type and this is for the screen and then we'll hit OK and let's see uh, yep I like the way this thing set it up looks good to me I'll save it and now let me give this guy a preview again okay now we're good so before I go on further and upload this 
local file management over here. We know that my web one project is where the file is located, index over here, therefore I can delete the original one that I created. Okay, very good. We're moving quick, but time is of the essence. Let's put this bad boy up there. And what we should have, okay, yes, we want all the dependencies, which is going to include that screen.css and the background image. And now let's go and preview our document, the live document. Remember, it's important that we look at the live version. And, woo, there she is. Last order of business, let's validate the CSS first. Well, whatever, but okay. Congratulations, no errors found. Now let's validate the HTML. Let's keep our fingers crossed over here. Ugh, six errors and one warning. Uh, okay, so this is definitely, I see that, that's okay. I, I could easily remedy that. I just need to put an alt attribute on my image. Of course I do. And then it says, it says, uh, line 11 says, doc type does not allow element IMG here. Um, it's mentioned it appears in the context you placed it. You need a, cont I'm reading right here, it might mean that you need a containing element or possibly that you've forgotten to close a previous element element. Hmm. Interesting. We forgot to close an element. I don't believe that. I think it just needs a maybe it just needs a uh, a containing element. Could that be it? Well, let's see. We don't need to re-put those depending files. Um, now let's give this guy another go. Okay, actually, ha, huh, go figure that. So now, um, so now we got one less error. We could definitely put an alt attribute over here on on this image. Um, well, let me, I'll do just that to really kill all of the um, all of the possible issues we may have. We go. Uh, I guess we could just put background image, and we'll upload this again. And although it, you know, although it hasn't changed our uh, layout at all, uh, what we do know is that having errors could be a problem. And now we're down to four errors and one warning, but we know that these are due to that analytics code that, if you recall, our free web hosting provider puts in. So we really, there's nothing we could do about that. But we minimized all the errors that uh, we could, that were within our uh, uh, abilities that we were allowed to even mess with. So, okay, we're, we're, we're at a good point right now.